on back to the Proven Ground Circuit qualifier here as we have Stixay, the uh, the marksman who is breaking out the Callista right off the get-go in game number two. How are you doing, man? Uh, I don't hear you at all. <laughs> okay, can you hear me now? There we go. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, there it is. So... Uh, what I was saying is you just came off of a big game with the Callista and whatnot. I know a lot of people were looking, had the eyeballs a little bit wider than normal when they got to see the Callista locked in. How is it feeling going into these, uh, this game and getting to pull out the power pick like that? Uh, pretty good. I haven't played the champion in a long time, but Callista is one of those champs that I'm always comfortable on, so I'm always down to just pull it out. Um, I kind of know, just based off of how the other amateur teams have been drafting versus us, that they kind of just try to pinch a lot of the AD picks. So yeah, in this game, I knew that they were going to pick Jinx, and I just told my team that I, I can just pick Alyssa, and it'll be fine. Yeah, uh, we were talking about it, and I was just like, I don't think I, the I can't remember the last time I saw Callista, and but I was like, you know what, Stitza, he's got it. He knows it. He knows how to pilot that champion. Yeah. Uh, I real quick before we go too much into the details here of how that match went on, there was something that popped up on our screen. You had a question that you were asked, and you said, "Who is somebody you could beat?" And you said, "Everyone, just straight up." Is that the confidence that you had, like before coming into this event? Just like, yeah, no, it's Stitze. I got this. Yeah, of course. Uh, I mean, I, I think I'm always a player like that, where I just feel like going to any match, any tournament, I can always win uh, if I just play my best, right? I think, like at at a peak level, I can always I can always beat anyone. I, I think that's a good mindset to have too. I love it. I love the confidence. Absolutely on that. And you were starting up as the, the coach for this squad. So you've had to come in, play the AD carry role. How has it been adjusting to going from being a player to a coach and now you're back into playing, especially since you're playing in like three different leagues now? Yeah, um, it was a little weird for me. I obviously like wasn't expecting to be really playing at all. So I was almost shifted out of like my super competitive mindset of like, grinding mega hard every day um, and I was kind of shifting more to just watching a lot of VODs uh, just trying to learn as much as I could just to help the main team uh, mainly I guess help Loss um, improve his play and then I was given the opportunity to not only play lock-in but play uh, this amateur tournament and like the beginning of academy stuff just due to some visa issues that we had so I just figured like you know why not like what's the downside I'll take it and see do what I can do with it and yeah so far it's been really fun I think um, I played with a couple of the guys last year too so Nothing too new for me, but yeah, I think we're progressing really fast. Yeah, and I think the results say just that. After some big carry performances from you inside this series, what do you feel like the future goal is for Golden Guardians? Is there any team out there that you're particularly looking forward to facing? Yeah, I think the obvious one is the 100 Thieves next team. Um, they're the only team we lost to, I want to say, um, in I guess in the best of one series. So yeah, we're definitely looking to beat them. I, I think it's pretty clear that it's probably going to be us versus them in the finals and yeah I, I think we have a really good shot i think we should have won our game versus them as well get the run back I, let's get it going that's what i like to see that being said before we end up sending it back over to our desk did say do you have anything to say to any sit say fans out there or anybody who's cheering on golden guardians academy as you guys have been playing an insane amount of games in the past bit <laughs> Yeah, no, we've definitely been playing uh, a lot of games. Uh, yeah, I mean, just just cheer for us throughout all the leagues we're playing in. You'll you'll probably see us a lot. So thank you, everyone who supports us. All right, well, thank you is garnered. With that being said, thank you, Sitsay, for coming in here for the interview. We're gonna go ahead and send it on back over to the desk to 